what is up it's balloon back once again with another video for you happy tuesday hi how are you doing welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new hi how are you doing this video i feel like this is going to be a really juicy spicy one so i hope you guys are sitting comfortably get ready we've got a few things to get into let's go so the first thing that I'm going to mention is recently I made a few videos talking about TikToker Norda Bash. Now Norda Bash came out saying that Nicholas Ray had essayed her and she uploaded a few TikToks about it. I've included those in previous videos. Then there was another girl called Liz who also came forward talking about Nicholas Ray allegedly essaying her and abusing her in some kind of way that he'd left bruises and all of this stuff. So these two women have both come forward about Nicholas Ray. I've made a few videos on it, but now there is an update for you. So I was just scrolling on Instagram as you do, and I came across this. It appears that Norda Bash has actually decided to go to police about Nicholas Ray now. Nor posted this picture on her stories saying I'm nervous. And it was Nor at the police station. So it looks like Nicholas might just be getting what's coming to him. You know, Nicholas Ray, of course, disappeared after Noor and Liz came out with their allegations. Nicholas Ray disappeared, went back to Missouri and hasn't really posted anything since. But Noor is now going to the police, as she should. I'm happy for her. You know, it's a horrible thing to have to talk about in a video you know and it's something that i've got personal experience of but in my case i never went to the police so for me to see nor go to the police i'm really happy because i'm glad that she's although she's saying she's nervous i'm glad that she's got the confidence or mustered up the confidence to take herself into the police station to hopefully talk about this and get it dealt with so i'm wishing nor debash all the best right now i hope 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 and pray that this gets taken care of for her i just really wish her all the best and i hope that she can heal and i hope that she's taken seriously by the authorities the next thing that i'm going to talk about in this video is chris jenner now of course there's been all of this astro world stuff going on if you don't know i've made several videos about the astro world tragedy where 10 people unfortunately lost their lives I've made several videos on this topic, so I'm not going to continue talking about Astro World. You know, so much went wrong. I think so many people are at fault, including NRG Stadium, Apple Music, who streamed the event, Live Nation, Travis Scott, Kylie Jenner, who was filming the ambulances going through the crowd. I think there are so many people at fault in this situation. You know, you can't just pin it on one person. I do think it was a group effort. You know, I think that the way that the festival was planned was very, very poor. And I don't think that they had enough security, enough medics or anything like that to deal with a catastrophe of that magnitude that happened at that festival. I really don't think that they were prepared at all, at all for what happened. You know, and it makes you wonder, you know, the way that they set the festival out with the stages, the planning, it meant that one particular area between stage two and stage one, people were really getting crushed and that is apparently where most of the incidents happened. So because people are going from stage two, which is over here, to stage one over here, they're not going to go round like over to this side, they're going to go from stage two into this side, you know? So therefore, one side by the main stage gets more and more compressed because people from stage two are coming over to stage one and they're just going, you know, between stages. So this side of the audience got more and more compressed and as people push forward, 
that was where stuff started happening and people started falling down the crowd was really swaying you know all over the place all the rest of it so there's been an investigation into it and it's been found out that that's what happened i believe it was the washington post that put out that investigation but it's terrible you know so how is chris jenner connected to any of this well of course kylie jenner was in attendance at Astro World, she was there in the audience filming the ambulances on her phone filming the ambulances that were going through to help people all of that Kylie Jenner was there in attendance then she was also escorted out through the VIP section through the front of the concert with her sister Kendall and her daughter Stormy she was escorted out and she saw what was going on the following day Kylie Jenner made a post on her social media on her Instagram saying that she didn't see anything that happened blah 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 trying to kind of absolve herself of any blame or of any kind of knowledge of the incidents that were taking place at the festival with people losing their lives well so kylie jenner put out a statement now kylie cosmetics are continuing to post and promote their 30 percent off sale as if nothing ever happened then chris jenner last night was at the british fashion council awards in london at the royal albert hall i love london so as you can see chris jenner has no worries or cares or at least that's how she's making it seem to the public Despite all of the backlash that Kylie is getting about being at Astro World and filming stuff, you know, on her phone, Kris Jenner was all smiles. And this is really, really shocking and really kind of devastating because Kris Jenner, obviously her daughter Kylie, then you've got Travis Scott, who is, you know, Kylie's baby daddy, and they're together. So... Chris Jenner is the parent of Kylie Jenner, who's with Travis Scott. After all of this Astro World tragedy, Chris Jenner was at, you know, British Fashion Council Awards in London, acting as if nothing's happened, which I find really, really shocking. You know, oh, no big deal. Ten people lost their lives. I'm in London having fun and I love it. I'm here at the British Fashion Council Awards. Well, 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 I love it. Yeah, this is great. I'm just here to have a good time. I wonder how the families of people who lost their lives at Astro World feel about that. Of course, you know, Travis Scott is in multiple lawsuits because of the Astro World tragedy. You know, $750 billion and all of this. You know, so financially, the Kardashians could well you know suffer greatly with this astro world tragedy but people have been speculating that chris jenner cooked up this idea to get kim kardashian to be photographed and seen with pete davidson to kind of take some of the heat off of kylie and travis now i said in my video yesterday about this that that is exactly what i think has happened you know it's something that i can imagine chris jenner doing and now she's been seen British Fashion Council Awards, all smiles, hair and makeup done, nice outfit on, like nothing ever happened. I'm like, shit, man. Like, Chris Jenner really had the audacity to turn up at a public event while Travis Scott and Kylie Jenner are being crucified online for the Astro World tragedy. Chris really had the audacity to turn up at a very, very public, high profile event all glam acting as if shit didn't happen like if you were somebody who'd lost someone at astro world you would be pissed right i mean yeah i understand people have got to live their lives people have got to carry on but this ain't a one you know chris jenner flying into london to go to some glam event on the heels of the astro world tragedy i'm like girl come on this, I think, is just more things to deflect and try and take the heat off of Travis Scott and Kylie Jenner. I really, really do. That's what it looks like to me. Oh, you know, I'll go to some glam event in another country and, you know, then the press will talk about that rather than talking about Travis Scott and Kylie Jenner and the Astroworld tragedy. Oh, it will give people something else to talk about to take the heat off them. This is the Chris Jenner...
game plan in action. The Chris Jenner Mumager game plan in action. I swear to God, this is what it is. I can't be the only one, right? Come on, you know. Tell me that I'm the only one who thinks that way. Really? Like, Chris Jenner, what the fuck are you doing? Like, all the stuff that is happening to Travis Scott right now. And, of course, Kylie Jenner is tied to Travis Scott. So, like, I'm gobsmacked. I am absolutely gobsmacked about this. The only reason that I really know about any of this is because I follow accounts like British Fashion Council and, you know, trend-setting kind of accounts. Or accounts that predict fashion trends because I was actually a fashion student so I follow those type of accounts on Instagram so I see these things and I'm like you know absolutely gobsmacked but speaking of like fashion and everything of course we had the very very sad news that Virgil Abloh passed away the other day and that was shocking and very very sad to hear I was really upset to hear that actually because, you know, for somebody like Virgil Abloh, who was the first African American to get like a top creative director position at Louis Vuitton in 2018, for somebody like him to get that position, that prestigious title, it was like, you know, wow, amazing. All of the stuff that he did with Off White as well. It's just really sad what happened to him. You know, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, oh my God, you know, Virgil Abloh was only a couple of years older than I am now. It's just horrible to think that he's no longer on this earth creating magic, you know, creating art. I just really find that very sad, you know, but I'm somebody who loves the fashion world. You know, I went to uni for it. It was the proudest achievement of my life getting my fashion degree so you know not to make any of this about me or anything like that that's not what I want to do at all but as a creative person who has longed to be in the fashion industry I can appreciate other creative people in the industry and even though I might never buy anything you know Louis Vuitton or whatever I can always appreciate other creatives for the work that they do and I just found it all really sad about Virgil Abloh I was so sad about it it was just really really sad to hear really genuinely very sad to hear you know Virgil Abloh and what he did will have been an inspiration to a new generation of people who want to get into the fashion industry you know he changed things he revolutionized things like there was a clip that I saw where he was organizing one of his shows and he said to one of these models okay well I want you to do something completely different to the whole model thing I don't just want you to come out and walk you know this setting is supposed to be like a New York street so I want you to come out and just move be free do your thing, you know. So then this model came out on the catwalk doing backflips and stuff. I'll pop the clip in if I can find it. But like things like that, you know, changing the face of luxury fashion as people know it. To change the face of a brand like Louis Vuitton, you know, that is no small feat. No small feat at all, you know. So I just really am sad to hear about the loss of Virgil Abloh and... Honestly, you know, being somebody, like I said, who went to fashion school, it's like, for me, there are people in the fashion industry that I look up to, you know, designers. There are people that I really look up to. There are people that I really like their work because I think what they do is new and innovative. There are people like Matty Boven. Matty Boven is like my favourite, favourite designer. Matty Boven, if you don't know, he's a British designer. Um, he kind of basically works from his home studio in Somerset, I think it is. And he creates all of this amazing designs with knitwear. He's somebody who I really didn't know that much about until I went to uni for fashion. And I was working on my own projects. And I was doing my knitwear samples at the time. And my tutor looked at my knitwear samples and said, 
you know what? I think you'd really like Matty Bowen's work. You should check him out. So from then, that led to me, you know, looking at Matty Bowen's work, looking at all of his fabulous kind of deconstructed knitwear and everything that he does. And I was like, wow, you know, this guy is amazing. This person, this designer is amazing. And I just really vibe with it. So Matty Bowen is actually somebody who did an internship with Louis Vuitton in Paris as well. And he won that on some kind of scholarship. He won some prize from the fashion industry to get to go and do that scholarship. So it's amazing for a young British designer to achieve what Matty Bowen has achieved. You know, it's incredible. People like that really inspire me. And that's why I was sad to hear of Virgil's passing. Because for somebody like me, you know, or any other fashion student or kid who wants to get into the fashion industry, we look up to people like Virgil Abloh, you know, so it's just very sad and very shocking when you hear that a wonderful creative mind has passed on. I'm actually doing some hand knitting at the moment at home myself. This is going to be a scarf, so I'm just playing with some nice colourful and textured yarns to make a really loud, crazy winter scarf for myself. So that is me for this little video. That is it for this one. I'm going to say take care, stay safe, stay well. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know all your thoughts about all the drama in this video and I will see you on the next one. Take care. Love you guys.